Many naturally occurring objects have a complicated appearance and when we look closer the complexity only increases. When we zoom in we find that small parts of the object resemble tiny replicas of the whole object. For instance, if we look at a branch from a fir tree it may resemble the entire fir tree and similarly a floret of broccoli might look like the whole broccoli. This is true of many organic structures including some within our own bodies such as the veins, arteries and capillaries of our circulatory system and the branching structure of our respiratory system from our trachea to our lungs. Self-similar objects such as these are known as fractals. It is rather remarkable that the idea of fractals can be traced back to the musings of a seriously injured soldier during the horrors of the First World War.
These illustrations, which were generated on my PC, show colour-coded representations of Julia's ideas known as Julia sets. They have a fractal structure and are like relief maps. The colours are arbitrary, but they are determined by a mathematical property of each region of the map as deduced by the computer following Julia's algorithm, and regions sharing the same property are given the same colour. Computer-generated imagery is now very familiar. It has many applications, especially in video games and the film industry. This imagery is produced using sophisticated mathematical algorithms, many of which involve fractals. I've long been interested in maths and the arts and the often surprising influences that pass between one and the other. Last year, Oxford University Press published my book, Celestial Tapestry, The Warp and Weft of Art and Mathematics. The book is a wide-ranging survey of these influences. I will put a link to the book in the description below.